guys, so what is good everybody? This is of course your boy B Bullet RC coming to y'all again with yet Boy you live and yes the weekend is over. Well it's kinda it's kinda been over, but y'all know what that means. It's time to get into this week's heat or Hi, where we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I want to talk about in the sneaker or streetwear world, that is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it, didn't edit it in, or it was just that. Bah, so, ah, that. I don't want to expose you to it, but I'm going to expose you to it. I mean, come on. You know, you, you, you know how this goes. And trust me, this week, Basuda boys, we eating good. Uh, the big B, Balenci is back. What's gonna be out of here? What's gonna sell out? And what we think was gonna, you know, sit around, might go on sale. Let's talk about it. More rumors, more releases. Let's not waste no more time. Let's get into it. This week's heat or hype. And listen, I forgot to mention before, make sure you uh, drop a like on this bitch, sub up if you haven't already, and finesse the bell as well. We have to please the algorithm gods, okay? First up, we got Asics and Pleasures coming through with a brand new pair of gel NYCs. Blam, y'all see them right here. Now, the retail on these was 160. These did drop via Pleasures already on October 4th, but I would have to assume that there will be a wider Asics release as well, or at least an Asics.com release, as well as like a boutique release. Shot release as well. Now these is clean. The browns, the pink, the yellow really gave me kind of bumblebee vibes, really. But I rather the colorway on this one was more inspired by hiking. But when I see these, I literally just see bees. Now, if you managed to scoop these straight from pleasures, yo, let me know down below. I will be looking for that water release day. Up next, one of the mini shoes I mentioned on that top 10 releases for October. Blam, we got the City of Cinema SBs. Now these should be dropping on October 10th for 125. That's through Nike sneakers. Now I have already seen the skate shops go ahead and drop these. I've been seeing them drop online. So if you do have a local skate shop that does get the hyper Nike SBs, make sure you pick their IG page. They might be running that raffle right now. Or they could just drop that random first come, first serve come the 10th. And like I said on the other video, listen, this is a solid pair, definitely top 10 material for October, but we definitely got some big ones dropping later on this month, and we are gonna get to that. This next one's actually available right now, bland. We got a brand new pair of Tims. Now these are the Dia de Muertos, or Day of the Dead Tims. Now these do retail at 210, and when I checked, these are basically available in most sizes other than like, I think like 13, 14, 15, on eight and a half. So these are still available now. Now I will say the details on these are nice, the eyelets, the different things that they got going around, Different colors it just is a dark purple pair of Tim's a little bit of a hard sale for sure and these do have the glow in the dark aspects to them as well so if you dig these listen they available right now on Timberland.com now for this next shoe I have been admiring from afar and I hadn't talked about any of the release date for these joints I just been looking at them like yo that's a nice pair yo, that's a nice pair yo, that's a nice pair so today let's fix that blam we got the John Geiger 004 and Arctic blue camo now these are gonna be dropping on 10 11 that's October 11th if y'all want more info on these literally just search up John Geiger it's gonna be all over his Twitter he got all the info Info there and listen salute to john i mean these is clean and i do like this blue pair i really like the original two that all over green one was clean too and uh listen i just been watching colorways fly by me fly by me fly by me but this time nah we're gonna try to get these now getting to another release that dropped this week bland we have this bape sharksta country pack now this is bape's new runner basically their new sneaker that they got out and they actually dropped 10 pairs of the joints in store and online they're actually available online right now 10 colorways for 10 different countries now i know for a fact that the u.s pair is that purple pair and i was not a believer of this shoe until i saw it on feet on feet makes these look a lot better than just regular photo like i said though multiple colorways they are steep though at 379 but it is bape so <laughs> usually it's gonna be steep obviously bape had to alter some of their old air force inspired designs and now they got this new one so y'all let me know what y'all think about this sharks to runner down below another drop this week i told y'all october is not playing blam we got kith back with a 990 v4 as well as an nb 1000 now the rival for these actually ended today on the kith app and there is no plans as i know of right now for a wider release of either one of these colorways in my opinion this is one of the best colorways on the 1000 the original colorway was nice too that black and silver but as far as collabs go this all over really light pastel blue with the suede those are really clean and of course the 994 is a classic and now all over light brown kind of olive green look listen it's fall time these gonna hit now unfortunately i wasn't paying attention and i did miss a raffle but if you hit let me know now this next shoe has a special place in my heart because i feel like i remember my mom having the blue pair of these the blue and yellow when i 
I show you the shoe, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. Blam, this is the Air Max Plus, or also known as the Air Max TNs, or just the TNs. These right here are this desert sunset colorway, super duper clean. Now there is no release date on these just yet, but they should retail for one. 80, which is kind of high in my opinion. I would not be surprised if you could just wait for these to go on sale, really. Unless they take that cult classic way of doing a release like they did for the Ultramarine 180s, these are probably gonna be an easy shoe to get on sale for sure. The next shoe we got is actually a brand new pair of shocks. Now these are available right now. This is a Shox TL Blam, and this is being called a Dracula colorway, and these are available right now on Nike for 170. In my opinion, there's nothing that really jumps out to me Dracula-like. We are gonna talk about some other Halloween inspired sneakers. These are really just black and red with the name tossed on top of it. In my opinion, these are nowhere near as good as like the Dracula Bo Jackson that they dropped a couple years ago, but at least they're trying out a different model with the shock. Up next, we got the SB4s at home, okay, blam. We have a new colorway of the Jordan 4 RM. And as you can see, these are exactly what I said, the SB4s at home. But the colorway is still so good that, listen, you wear big enough pants, you might be able to kind of power walk a little bit, walk fast enough, and people, trust me, they won't know. Now, when you stop, yeah, they gonna, they gonna inspect your gadgets and them joints and realize, oh, those, oh no, they ain't, those aren't them. Regardless, listen, I know I'm talking my shit, but this is a good colorway in that shoe. Whenever these do decide to drop, these will be the third best colorway next to the Nigels. This next release is about to go triple platinum with the Falcons fans, okay, blam. We have a Falcons colorway of the DT Maxes. The Neon Deons, like I said, all over black and red. Falcons colorway for these joints. And I do think that these will go. Do I think they're gonna sell out crazy? Nah, but trust me. These are gonna go triple platinum with the Falcons fans and maybe in Georgia. But listen, we'll see. These should be dropping in November. Now, out of nowhere, we got Reebok coming with a Boktober pack. Yes, they got like four or five actual licensed themed Halloween shoe. The first one up, blam. I mean, y'all can already see the colorway, how they look, and we got a Frankenstein pair of Reebok pumps. And these pumps are gonna drop on October 11th. I believe retail on these is 180. Another one dropping the same day on the 11th, this time for 120, blam. We got the Club C Mega Court, which is just a chunky version, a chunky sold version of the Club C. And this is, of course, the Bride of Frankenstein colorway. We also got a BB4002 dropping, and this is another Dracula-inspired colorway and there are some good details on this, like the blood spill on the bottom. The leather on these look actually pretty nice and the theming is good too. The Reebok logo on the tongue is like all over metal silver. Looks like something that would have been on Dracula's castle. On the also, you got some blood detailing. Again, they kind of just doing it right. Not my favorite actual shoe model, but the details is there. Now we also got a pair of Club Seeds. I believe this is a Wolfman colorway all over brown suede. These are also gonna retail at 120 and I have saved my favorite one for last even though it's gonna be the weirdest one, and some of y'all gonna ring that Basuda alert alarm, I already know. For 220, still dropping on the 11, like the rest, blam. We have this. a Creature of the Black Lagoon pair of mid-top Reebok Insta Pump Fury. And yes, they are kinda ugly, just like the Creature they're based off of, but out of all of these, these were the most out there pair right before the Frankenstein. This is definitely my number one. My number two would be the Frankenstein. Number three would be the Dracula. And then the Wolfman and the Brighter Frankenstein, you can really interchange those, but yeah. The Creature of the Black Lagoon, these weird green shits right here. Yeah, this is my favorite. And of course, they're 220, the most expensive. All these will be dropping on October 11th. Let me know if y'all like any of these down below or just scream at me and tell me that my taste is ass. That's fine too. Now we also got official images of this What The Dunk Low and this is based off of the Co JP colorway. The release date on these is either the 17th or the 18th. So I'm not gonna talk too much right now because I might have to remind y'all again next week. But yes, we do know that these are official and they are on the way. Another one for this week. We got a brand new pair of MBs, Blam. Now this is a DTLR exclusive and this is the 1906R Starry Nights. Retail on these is gonna be 175 and this should be a DTLR exclusive. Also salutes to Chris from Amp because he was the face of the promo for this joint. So salutes to him and salutes to the guys, all right? Listen, these joints is nice. This colorway is pretty fine, I ain't gonna lie. Slide bar. That's one thing I like about NB is that they do do these crazier colorways, really loud colorways of NBs and a lot of time, they be in detail R and people be eating them up. Regardless though, this is a good pair of 1906Rs and I may swing up and at least peep these at the mall, but we will see. Now, next year in 2025, we already know we got a couple of heaters on the way, but we also are getting a retro of Bland, the Air Max 90 in this Escape colorway. Now, these joints have not dropped for 23 years, and next year, 2025, is actually gonna be the 35th year anniversary 
for the Air Max 90. So it makes sense. No leaked images, no mock-ups, just got a photo of the old pair. But yes, for anyone that would care, next year. We also got a picture of these Stash Air Max 95s, a retro of these Stash Air Max 95. And these should be dropping before the end of the year, holiday 2024. Retail on these is 200, and that's really all we got. They exist, here's a photo. Let's move on. Another 2025 leak. Okay, bland. We got Nike and Nocta with a brand new pair of Air Max Pluses. Or again, them TNs popping back up. As y'all can see, the entire upper of this shoe has changed. It basically looks like the inside of the gloves. Just without the shroud on the outside. And there's a few different colorways. I believe there's a blue joint. There's a gray. And then there's also an all over black with like a chrome toe cap on these. So I'm not sure if this is going to be like a more rugged winterized version of the plus now that's kind of what it's looking like from these leaked foes and trust me these ain't the best leaked foes this is pure leaked images right here i'm interested listen i'm pretty sure that the better photos gonna come out soon okay and if they are what i think they're gonna be it's probably gonna be early 2025 but we'll see we also got a brand new colorway in this kids of immigrants and nike sunder glam this is a sunrise colorway based on once again the Air Max Plus, the TN. We're talking a lot about them TNs this week. Now, if y'all remember way back when, when they did the sneakers live and they were revealing all the info about the Air Max Sunder, just bring them back. You know, they were really focusing on the Sunder. The Kids of Immigrants pair was there, but it was a white pair. And now we see that these Sunrise joints do exist. Now, this could be an F and F colorway. Do not get your hopes up. So just take this colorway with a grain of salt. Now, that white pair, I do believe it's on the way. But the Sunrise one, hey, might happen, could not happen. That's all we talk about the leaks, okay? Jumping back into the future listen 2025 bland we have another pair of agassiz this is the racer pink colorway and these had that same reimagined or not exactly reimagined but age treatment as the hot lavas now i'm personally still trying to recover from people trying to hit me in the head for them hot lavas like prices were crazy and they're probably still crazy i really do want those 2024 hot lavas but I just, the wallet, like I just can't bring myself to spend no crazy price on it when they was really not hitting crazy like that the last time they dropped. And now I'm gonna go have to buy them from Billy Bob who don't know who Andre Agassi is. I'm gonna call him the Agassi's when I go to meet him. He gonna be like, what you talking about? I just need that 350 out the pocket. I'm gonna feel disrespected. I might have to drive away, bro. I can't do it. We gonna get the 2024 pair eventually, okay? We, we eventually, we, we gonna get them. Another rumor, another mock-up for 2025, blam. We will have Pata coming back with that way Waves theme on the Air Max 90. Again, 35th anniversary of the 90, and we should be getting these. Remember, this is a mock up. This is a rumor. Could happen, could not happen. But if they're doing the waves again, this should be pretty close to how they're going to look unless they really switch it up this time. The Waves Air Max 1s were clean. The colorways were good. I feel like they really can't mess with these 90s. Another quick reminder these should have been way earlier in the heater hype. I forgot. October 12th, okay. The Howard Air Jordan 1 lows are on the way. And I've been seeing, listen, the hoopla, the, the talk been growing about this pair. I would not be surprised to see these joints sell out right here. At the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if they just sat because the mocha sat. The mochas were sitting in the mochas were clean. This is why I tell you, if you like them, try to cop them off a of Nike. If they drop on sale or something like that, listen, you can always return them bitches and then buy them on sale. You gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, they had mochas for 98 bucks and they just dropped. You better trust and believe that if I bought mochas for full price, listen, it, Nike, hello? Yeah, I saw that, uh, that sale y'all had, yeah, I just bought them shits for 140. Now this next shoe did already drop in Europe, but there has been no US releases of it yet. And bland, we got the Reebok Premier Road Ultra. Very, very good runner coming from Reebok right here. Now, let me correct myself because there actually was the Packer collab and I don't know if they will sold out yet, but that Packer colorway is nice as well. So if you like this shoe, again, Great fall shoe, great runner coming from Reebok. A brand new silhouette, brand new model. You can look for that Packer colorway or all the other colorways that's gonna be releasing hopefully soon. Again, there's no US release date for a lot of these colorways, but Europe, y'all already got them. Now on October 10th, we actually got two more new pair of MBs on the way. This is the 1906 A Blam, y'all see them right here. An all over gray colorway and a black colorway. Now real quick, I'm gonna highlight the OG colorway of these, which is the Refined Future colorway, which in my opinion, is is the best but these new gray and black ones are clean i would definitely take the gray before i take the black but again these are kind of taking some of that protection pack dna and flipping it in a good way i still haven't copped that refined future colorway or the tech explosion colorway yet but don't be surprised if you see those in a pickup video very soon but this gray and black is clean retail needs should be 172. now we also got a brand new pair of phone posit pros on the way on the 23rd we got blam these joints right here which are the wolf gray 
phone positive pro salute to jay these are actually his photos he's the one that broke this shoe and everybody been reposting his shit so salute to jay these are all over reflective the entire upper on this shoe is reflective black bottom these really remind you of the silver all over silver phone positive pros these are good I, you know, I ain't gonna lie, for a new colorway, they're basically the old colorway, really, but these are good. Like I said, though, October 23rd is the date. This is a very good pair, very, very good fall shoe. If you want a tank of a shoe, you buy a pair of foams, and these silver and black joints, good to go. Another one that dropped this week, we had a rain cloud pack glam of NB1000s. Now, these drop on the 7th, and they probably still are available. Not gonna lie to you, next to the 1906A, like those gray and black pairs that we talked about before, these really just ain't standing out. I would definitely go for the 1906 before I go for any of these pair of 1000s, or I would just go back and cop the OG pair of 1000s before I cop any of these. But I mean, I'm just being honest. I know simple and clean is in, but I don't know, bro. These, just looking at the photo, they looking like some DSW specials, bro. Some some Kohl's collector's items. <laughs> some Kohl's cops right here. I mean, that's just me though. I, I don't know. Maybe the black pair is passable, but everything else, eh. Past. Another Adidas release this week. We had a $350 pair of Blam Sambas. Yes, these are Italian made, Italian leather, handmade craftsmanship, all that. All that's going to cost you $350 for a pair of Sambas. But yo, that leather on these is looking, I mean, it's looking crispy. Matter of fact, not, not crispy. It's, it's looking very buttery. Looking like these are going to wear in very nice. If you want the ultimate Samba, <laughs> this is it. Now, these did drop via the confirmed app, and y'all can check if they're still available. I wouldn't be surprised if they sold out, and I wouldn't be surprised if they were still available either. I mean, at 350 Italian Handmade, they were probably pretty limited. I would assume under a, a thousand pairs. But for today and today only, I'm gonna be lazy one time and let y'all do the Googles, okay? We got a lot more to talk about. Real quick too, we did have those Spider Vimeros, the Halloween Vimeros drop. Now, when I checked, I believe there was only like one, one and a half, two, two and a half, like Four. like these joints is basically close to sold out so if you were looking to lace up your little ones or maybe your cousins your nieces your nephews with these joints you might want to go check nike ace at rockington because these joints will be selling out for sure let's talk about it this next one is very interesting we have the air max one low poly we talked about these and we talked about how they said that these will only be available while supplies last the pre-order for this shoe is up right now on Dot Swoosh, so if you want them, you can go grab them. And I believe this joint is gonna take 90 days or 120 days. Actually, I think it was four months. These are gonna be delivering next year into 2025. Was I a guinea pig? Did I go ahead and pre-order a pair? I'm gonna ask y'all what you think. For research purposes, the first pre-order Nike shoe? Yeah. When we talk about shoes sitting, selling out, wherever the case may be, bots, releases, campouts. One of the topics that always comes up is why don't they just do pre-orders? So I'm gonna be very interested to see how many people actually went for this shoe. I mean, 150 is not bad when we're used to spending 200 plus on Jordan Retros. And for it being unique in the first of its kind for Air Max One, let's see who tried out that pre-order. Now, just like everybody else, trust me, I want my shoes right now. So there's gonna be a lot of people who do not cop right now, they're gonna wait and let's see what the pricing is like. This is gonna be the real test. Now, of course, I think the real, real test is gonna be some crazy J. They put some 85 Chicago's up for pre-order. I know Nike will run the numbers up, but what does that do to the market when they finally get their shoes in? Listen, Trav and everybody doing these merch, they've been doing the pre-sale for this and the merch still has some type of resale value because people don't cop. They just say, yo, instead of you holding my bread for four months, I'ma just wait and pay the extra bread, which honestly, I ain't mad at. Do I really want Nike holding $150 with nothing to show for for four months? Well, I guess the answer is yes, because I, you know, I pre-ordered them. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't really. I wish they would just charge when they ship them out, but listen, I understand. I've done a pre-order before for sample, and uh, you definitely want the bread so you can make the product. This is definitely gonna be a learning situation for Nike, and what do y'all think about it? Listen, do y'all like this pre-order look? What do pre-orders look like in the future if Nike decides to keep doing it? And just to mention, because people have been asking, yes, we are gonna be doing some more episodes of the Gloves Off podcast, me and Tony, and this is gonna be one of the topics. So if you guys don't know, yes, we do have a podcast. The link is in the description. Go over there, sub up, and be ready for the next live because we should be going live this week. Like, hopefully I wanted to go live today, 
or we might have to do it tomorrow. Either way, just sub up to the pod channel and come through to the Gloves Off podcast. We will be discussing this in a way longer format. And of course, it's live so y'all can scream back at us while we're talking about it. Okay, listen, it's time to get into this week's official Basuda of the Week. And we got that big B B Balenciaga in the building, okay? Salute to the Balenci boys out there, but listen, we gonna be on y'all ass this week. Pause, no diddy, all that. First up for the light by Suda, we gonna have gallery department of UGG. Somebody Y'all know my history with Uggs, bro. I just don't really like Uggs. I personally feel that the Uggs are for the ladies. You just not, you're not gonna catch me in any men's Uggs. And I think the worst offender from this collection is Blam. Somebody the did cowboy boot. <laughs> Yo, listen, they know what they're doing with these, bro. These are the, the there's a snake in my boots Uggs right here, okay? A cowboy Ugg boot. Small feet gang, y'all let me know if they're gonna be rocking these. I will say though that the denim Somebody pairs are cool. The kind of military surplus recycled pairs are cool as well. And I do know that those denim joints are actually made of recycled denim. So those are gonna be one of one. Every pair is gonna be one of one. I believe the release date on this collection is gonna be October 17th. But yeah, them cowboy joints, that's some O'Driscoll shit, bro. You already know we're really not getting down with the O'Driscolls on this side. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all to the kind of fire, bro. Y'all can take y'all ass and them nasty ass Ugg boots to the next town, bro. We not doing that. Up next, I hate to have to do it, but I guess two weeks in a row, Puma, you are up here. Listen, I show y'all y'all love too, but today, I'm sorry, bland. Somebody we got LaMelo and Puma with the La France pair, and it's not even the shoe, it's just this colorway, bro. It's a all over slime colorway, and I swore I was just in Burlington and seeing these shits on the shelf for 40 bucks, bro. I, I, I promise you, this is the worst colorway on this shoe thus far. It does not do this shoe any justice these are the big bargain brand joints okay not big baller big bargain the dsw deluxes the rack room rompers right here <laughs> again more power to puma and lamello with this brand new la france shoe but this like i don't know how y'all let this one go bro this colorway is trizash bro garbanzo beans garbola juice Basura. And last up, but definitely not least up, we got the big B Balenciaga in the building with these Balenci foams. Blam, yes. This. this is the Balenciaga basketball sneakers. Now, I'm gonna throw up a couple photos so I can Somebody see the different colorways this. of these and just see how nasty it gets. But I'm gonna really just stick on Blam Somebody this photo right this. here. This is an insane look for the shoe. I mean, it's done on purpose, of course. Listen, I'm talking about it. It causes up a stir, but this man look like he don't got no socks on. I know no shows exist, but if you're wearing these shirts right here, you a nasty award winner, all right? MVP of the year. Just look at this photo. Look at how the man is, look how big the shoes look compared to his ankles. Like, why is he standing there with these shoes on? Why do they look so big? Why do they look like clown posits? There's so many questions that I have when I look at this image. But Lindsay, all I can say is, Keep it coming. Hey, yo. Just keep doing it. Keep doing what y'all do by producing top tier Basuda. Trust me, we'll talk about y'all more. Bacardi Bull, whenever he gets here, he will talk about y'all more whenever he gets here. Y'all tell me though, what's the worst Basuda, man? The Uggs, the Rack Room, Romper, La Francaise, or the Big B Balenciaga with the clown posits, okay? Listen, can we go ahead and get this shit off of my screen? Thank you. So you can go ahead and get back to the heat, bro. This week, we got some better looks at this velvet brown colorway of the Trav 1 Lowe's. In my opinion, yo, with the pink laces, these definitely hit. This colorway, I feel like it's gonna look crazy in hand. I might have to try to get a pair in early to go ahead and do a review on, but these joints is nice. Not all over velvet brown. This is a good look for the shoe. And we do have a release date, December 21st. So there will be a lot of Christmas bread being spent on this shoe. And there's gonna be a lot of bread that's supposed to be spent on something else getting spent on this shoe as well. Now we also got some new leaks of a brand new pair of Nike and Fragma design pairs of Spiridon. Very interesting shoe for Nike to reach back and grab. And we also know that in next year, 2025, we should be getting those Fragment Trav 1 lows unless those already got canceled too, who knows? But I did see some news hit the timeline that that pair of white and blue Fragment Trav 1 lows could be dropping next year in 2025. And if they do, listen again, more hoopla, more bread being spent. Now we also got looks at the Amamanier Air Max 95 while you were sleeping. And I'm gonna put two photos up here, blam, okay? Now this is the image that we got without any filters on it. This is the one up top. Now down bottom was the promotional photo of this shoe and people are saying that they got catfished on this one. 
And I can't lie, maybe they did. The promo photo makes this shoe look all over suede and it does make it look better. The kind of bottom panel in 95 kind of just melts into the sole in this promo image. Whereas when all the lights are on them from this top photo, no filter joint, it just doesn't look as good. Now, I already know the materials on these are gonna be top quality. They look nice, they look luxe, but I just think that when people saw this photo up top, the no filter joint, it really threw people off. I do think that Ama Manier has to switch it up from the burgundy hues. I know that that is their thing. That is what they do, but they just had to switch up a little bit. Just like Blam, these photos of the supposed hand wash cold Air Jordan 3. Now, James Whitner was actually wearing these on an interview, which is why they're not really any good photos but there is no more burgundy. This one is all over black with kind of some iridescent. And of course, it's gonna remind you of the Air Force ones that they did a few years back. The shoes ain't bad, they just all the same color. This next shoe would have definitely been on my top 10 list, but we didn't have the date yet, and now we do. Blam, yes, the metallic gold, the green goblinskis, the green goblin joints. The flight posits are dropping on October 30th, retail 240. That retail is hefty. But I do think that this shoe will sell out because we have not seen this shoe in a very long time. And don't worry, I will be keeping tabs on these because I definitely want a pair. And if I get some more info, I will let y'all know. Big rumor, big mock-up, big leaks, all that good stuff. Take it with a grain of salt. 2025, blam. We could be getting three new colorways of Supreme and Nike SBs. You got kind of this blue joint, which is a more Dodgers colorway. You also have this black colorway, which... Again, it's a mock-up, so I'm assuming this is like an all-over suede. And then you have a white and a gray. And I think right now is a good time for them to drop something. I just hope that the actual shoe looks better than these mock-ups. Because these mock-ups, while they're not bad, they do look kind of basic. Maybe when I see the real shoe, I think differently. But right now, I'm, I'm, I'm cool, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna be pressed, but we'll just have to wait and see. And another big release for next year, Black Cat 3's bland. As of right now, these are the supposed leaked images of the shoe, and the three is not as popular as the four, okay? There's some BS4 colorways that move way better than threes. Now, the fours have been kind of losing a little bit of their luster with some colorways going under retail, blah, 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 but people want Black Cats. So if these threes do in fact release next year, the last release of the Black Cat 4s was a GR, and these threes, I think is gonna be a GR as well. Will people jump for these? I do know that, you know, next year the Black Hat 4 is supposed to release, but hey, I wouldn't be surprised if that release get canceled. We also had the Flu Game 12s back on the release count for 2025. Listen, it's so much stuff being announced, then pulled back. The Flu Games, I feel like we've been seeing the Flu Games was a drop, then they got canceled, then it's supposed to drop, then they got canceled. So just don't hold your breath. But Listen, we not gonna know until next year. Y'all let me know if y'all copped anything this week, what y'all looking forward to. Make sure you drop a like on this bitch, sub if you haven't already, and finesse the bell as well. We have to please the algorithm gods, and that's all I got for y'all this week. Much love as always, okay? Peace.